Yo, you're in the studio with on Switch, and today I thought we could make a deep dubstep tune. I, um, I've been, I've had a couple of comments about it, people asking me to do it. I know I've done quite a few ambient bits so far and different bits and pieces, so I thought this bit could, um, this could, this could work for, for whoever's looking for this kind of stuff. But yeah, I hope you find it insightful and helpful. Definitely go check out the members section. They're all getting these videos early now. There's also pretty much all the parts for all of the videos are now up on my Google Drive, so they're, they're downloading them as well. There's also a free sample pack every month. So oh, it's well worth a well worth a look at. Come and join us on this journey into the deep. Um, so without further ado, let's crack on. Let me know what you think. It's quite a long video this one. So also let me know what you think of the long format. And yeah, much love, big up, and let's get on with the video. Okay, so I've launched Ableton and I've got, as you can see on the left hand side here, I've got my sample series volume one open. Uh, I was playing earlier on, I was just sort of clicking around a few sounds. I haven't listened to that sample pack for uh, for quite a while, so I thought I'd have a little click through and the first pad I clicked on, I was like, that's really nice. So I figured it's a, it'd be a good place to start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a sampler. I'm gonna put that in on this MIDI channel and then I'm gonna come back to the samples here. Um, and I'm just gonna grab this first pad into the samples. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab um, the Valhalla Supermassive. And that is just, yeah, it's a, it's a serious, serious reverb um, stroke delay unit. I've got a preset that I've set up. So you can, it's Hydra mode, mix at 60, delay 860, warp 100%, feedback 62%, density at 100. And what I also like to do is just take the low end up and that just creates uh, a bit more bit more room in that low end so let's have a little click about the keyboard and see how that is sounding but so i know at the minute it's got a very 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 slow attack so i'm going to turn the snap on i'm going to turn the interpolation to best and i'm going to bring the start point in and i'm just going to give it some attack here And I'm going to turn off the uh, the R key there, and I'm going to leave the voices at six for a second. Nice, and that seems to be looping quite nicely. So I think what we'll do is we'll we'll just record that in, and we'll get something rolling. So let's get the click on the go. And there's quite a nice sort of movement to the sound on that pad. So it's not just a stagnant, just one note long. It's got a little bit of movement with it. And that's that's really nice. So what we're going to do is we're now going to specify that we want eighths on the quantize. And then we're going to quantize that. And we're going to see how this sounds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this back so that they're all in with keeping. Okay, so I'm actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure none of them are selected and then click the legato button so that they're all just joined. Nice. Okay, I like that. So let's drop the volume on that a touch and let's grab another sampler. Uh, where are we? Uh, instruments. Sampler. Get your lips. Right, and then let's come back to the sample packs here. Let's have a little look. That's really nice as well. That's really nice. So let's have a look. Let's grab that in. And uh, let's just duplicate this Valhalla Supermassive onto this next channel. Nice. 
Okay, I think we are onto something here. So let's have a little look. We can adjust this start point slightly, but let's get this plan. Okay, let's set the sound up. So we'll snap, interpolation onto best. Let's have a quick look here and see what we can do with this sound. In fact, what we'll do is we'll come back to it. Let's turn the R off. Let's just adjust the start point and see what happens. Here, what this ends up. Okay, let's turn the, turn the click on so we know where we're at within the, the whole thing. Let's bring that down. Nice, let's record that in. Okay, I've, I've started in the wrong place here, so let's... Again, we'll quantize that up. Okay, so let's now grab another sampler. Instruments, sampler. And let's have a little look for some more sounds. Um, so let's come back to the sample packs here. What have we got here? We've got, I've got hits, effects, and hits. Let's have a little look here. Okay, let's have a let's have a look at that. I quite like that. In fact, let's just put that in straight on audio, and let's just time it up. So it's okay. It's, it's already recognised that it's been 140 BPM. That's good. Okay, so let's have a little play with this sound. Uh, so let's come to the audio effects here. Let's grab an e. Uh, let's grab a filter. That's probably our best bet. So a filter. Let's also grab a delay, and let's also grab a reverb. And we'll grab the normal Ableton reverb this time. First thing I'll do is take the feedback down and the dry wet. And let's just have a listen to that. Put the low cut on. Let's have a look at this. Let's try a band pass. Okay, and let's time the LFO up. Let's just try it. So drive it. Right, I've got way too much movement on there. I'm going to go back to low pass, bring that up. So we've just got a tiny little bit of movement. Come back to the this page. 
Okay, so we are way loud with the actual sample. Let's bring the volume down on the sample. Like minus six or something. There we go. Okay, let's come back to this and let's ping pong this delay. A little bit more feedback. Nice, and let's drop the volume on it. Okay, so so far we've created quite a nice atmosphere. So let's go to the, let's, I know there's some quite nice drums in the, um, it's quite nice drums in, in, in pretty much all the packs, but let's go to the go to the ambient pack. Right, where are we? Drums, drum loops. I mean, it's out of time, but. So we're just looking for, for a, a kit that we like the sound of. Okay, I quite like that. So let's come to this page, let's drag this out into an audio channel, and let's just half the length of this. We don't need all of that, and let's consolidate that. And then what we're gonna do is we're now going to just double double check on where these points are falling. So everything will be, there's no points missed. That's good. Okay, so we're now gonna quantize this. And we should have every single hit caught now. Nice. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on it and we're going to slice it to a new MIDI track. And that's gonna give us all of the individual hits in a, in a drum rack which is gonna be cool. So it mean we can just program this up how we want now. We can get rid of that drum loop. We can get rid of that audio channel and we've not, we can get rid of this program in here because we're gonna reprogram it up. So for this section here, I literally just want the, um, where are we, MIDI clip? Anything on that channel? No, so we just got a blank sample there. So I'll move that out of the way for a second. In fact, we'll just delete that. We can always re-import it back in. Um, okay, so. Okay, first problem is this uh, loop length. We need to turn that down. Okay, so as we can hear, where the reverbs on the kit uh, and processed in baked into the kit, you can hear that we've got all these different hits, you know, which is which is perfect. So let's have a let's get some some hats on the go for this intro part. Um, let's do that you'll see anything so let's have a look here so we know that C sharp and in the headphones I'm not hearing any massive weight with that so we'll see so I'm gonna leave it as sixteenths and let's just try Fine, so we can use all of these. Nice, okay. So I want like another hit in here, but what I might do is add like a touch of delay to the to these hats. So 
it's going to try fours. There we go. See how that's just kind of brought that to life a little bit. Let's also try adjusting the amplifier envelope for the hats there. Nice. Okay, so let's grab this. Let's duplicate this onto another channel. Oh, I don't want the um, the delay for the next one. Okay, so actually we could duplicate this across. So we've now got the first part of our intro sorted. So let's get rid of this channel here for the second of the channel. But let's get rid of those those parts. Sweet, okay, so let's check out one of the other sample packs. Let's go to the next one in the series. In fact, let's just go volume three. Like I said, I haven't been into these packs for a long, long, long time. So what have we got here? Let's have a little look. Let's have a look at the melodies because we can always cut one of these up. That's lovely. So. Nice. Right, okay, so let's just grab that and let's just see what happens with this. Sick. Right, okay, let's grab some audio effects onto that. Let's have a play with the sound. So let's go beat repeat. And let's change the offset. Go to two bars. So it only happens every two bars. We'll also put it on insert. We'll change the amount of time, the amount of repeats. Put the filter on. Right, let's just change whereabouts in the bar this is falling. Quite like that. Right, eight. No triplets with the variation. And let's also turn the charts down so it doesn't happen all the time. Okay, let's grab a delay. Turn the feedback down. Let's put some ping pong on it. Okay, let's grab a filter. Let's go before the delay. feeling that okay so I'm completely out of interest let's try knocking this down an octave so minus 12 and let's keep it at 140 for the second
Nice. Right, so let's now move across. Okay, and what we're going to do is with this one, we're just going to bring this this endpoint here across so that we start just to cross fade this beginning part here. So that we get the towel, do a little bit of the towel coming to this first, this first sort of bit here. Chill here. Okay, so it wasn't quite as natural as what I would have liked to be fair, so so it go with it. Alright, so let's I want to grab these. I want to just loop it over this section for a second. Right, let's grab some drums. so we get the headphones on so we can right let's go eight there we go and we'll quantize that control u maybe take it back across let's drag that again okay so I'm actually kind of feeling that let's go and let's duplicate that a couple of times okay let's come to this drum loop the hats here Let's grab a side chain. So we'll go dynamics, compressor, put this here. Select the drum loop. And you can see we've only got the bass drum and the bottom of the snare selected for the frequency. As you can see on the the duck in here on the display. Let's have a look here, let's change the drum sound. Just want it a slightly snappier to begin with. And what I'll now do is grab a filter. I want to grab a delay. And I want to grab a reverb. Now program in some of this automation. Let's automate this filter. So we'll press A on the keyboard, which will bring up our automation. Let's just select the filter frequency here, which will then activate the filter frequency on the channel. And let's just try some for a second. Down like that, up again on this. Maybe even just send it into oblivion at the top there. We'll probably delete some of these notes out at the end here. Have that quite so. But it's too high. Let's 
some more feedback. Right, so we could even, with this, we could grab a beat repeat after all of these. chance down so that it will only happen every now and again. speed here. Don't want it to sound like a woodpecker. Try giving it some more reverb. Switch the order of these two round. Try just adjusting this a little bit. Let's also let's try some LFO. How boxy that reverb is. Okay, so we've gone too high with the wrong one. Could even try bringing that right the way down to the end. Let's do that. bit of decay on that. playing with the amplifier envelope for the drums. Okay, and then the very last thing I want to add on to this channel is like an EQ, uh, EQ8. And I just want to lose the very bottom end out of here. So let's go high pass. Just 
just an intro kit. Two seconds. Okay, cool. So, where are we? Let's have a listen from the start. So what we are going to do is we're going to come into here and we're going to delete some of these drums. I think that's going to be our best bet. So let's make it a bit smaller. So let's get rid of that. 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 So we could add in a couple of couple of bits and pieces. Okay, so let's grab 16th on the quantize here and let's now duplicate this across, but grab another bass drum. Still going to lose those M1s. Didn't think it needed that. Okay, so I think that there, so far, we are sounding really good. So there's a couple of bits I noticed that I want to have a look at. One of the first bits is I want to grab, say, this hit here and duplicate it back before itself. And then I want to just hit the reverse button there. There we go. And I just want to have a quick look at this. I think what I'm going to have to do ideally is do that and then just move this along part. and then I can just drag this out so they, they sort of tie up and we'll do this crossfade thing a little bit so we get a little bit of both. Go. Same the other way. There we go. So they should then start just to crossfade in the middle there, start morphing. So let's play it from the top and let's see where we're at. Holding lovely. So what we could do now is we could now just sort of minimalize this very last bit here before the before the tune drops. So let's have a look. What have we got here? This is the nice. Okay, so let's grab the end of this. Let's bring that back. This one here. What is this one? Nice. Do the same with that. In fact, we'll come into the part here and we'll just do that. Oh. Grab the end, bring it across. In fact, let's just lose that note entirely. And then this is the 
thinky sort of okay cool so let's try moving half of this we could try it so let's just knock that back up to the normal pitch so we're now up an octave to what we were and let's give that a go let's also let's grab this reverse let's put this here make sure we're in the right place there which we're not so let's back across to here perhaps we could just grab this whole section here and we know where we're at nice okay so let's hear it from let's hear it from this from the top let's just listen symbol ready for wherever we're gonna go next but that's cool that's got potential so let's let's have a look let's grab a symbol so let's come back to the sample packs here um drums let's go kits bang snare have we got symbol in here no. okay so i should have on this let's go sample pack in three drums kits Okay, that's cool. So we'll grab the grab that the right button, and we'll just drop the volume on that. Nice. Okay, let's have a look here. So we go to the, the drum loop one, which is our um, hi-hat pattern. Let's double click on that and let's have a look. So I know that I'm not using the kick drum there, so I can replace the kick drum with another hat. There we go. And I also know that I'm not using the snare, which I think is, I'm not sure. Let's just... Okay, so we're not using that square there, so that's fine. So I might just need to have to. Um, I might just adjust these um, separately, like for the amplifier envelopes and stuff. But that's cool. So we've now got a couple more hits we can we can add into that into those hats when we want to, if we want to. Just before that came in there, grab this, come into here. So we'll use this as like a, a like a build up tool. Let's grab just that first bit there and let's put the volume fade in. So let's have a look, see how that sounds. Let's also grab some effects onto that. That was cool. Really, really, really cool. So let's grab low cut. Let's low cut that as well. Let's bring that down a touch. Let's size up 
stereo up. I don't know why I've got a habit of doing that, but it just, for me, that, that works nicely. And let's just go a little bit more decay on there. There you go, it's a bit more natural. I'm gonna try a cavernous. Cool, I'm gonna grab a filter and I'm gonna just high pass that. Sorry, I'm gonna high pass, high pass it, there we go. Nice, so we lose that weight out of it. Let's dirty that up a little bit as well. Really cool. Cool, so we want the crash again here. And we might even reverse that crash into that. So let's just double check on this crash here. We're starting on the button. So let's just reverse that. There we go. Cool, so what we'll do is we'll drop the volume on this reverse one and that will then give us um, a more of an impact then when it actually goes to the main crash. Okay, so we need to build it here a touch more. Um, so let's save this. Right, where are we? Uh, let's go YouTube videos. Let's go in, um, projects. And let's call this uh, sample packs tune hyphen 01. I'll probably change the name of that later and that's probably not gonna correspond with what the video is called at all, but there we go. Sweet. Okay, well at least we're saved. So let's play it from the start and let's have a little look. I'm gonna want another pad in here for this section here. Grab a sampler. Oh, we, uh, yeah, we deleted it anyway. Cool. Nice. Okay, so we'll, we will just grab that in particular to this section here. I have it of right clicking by mistake there. There we go. Really nice. So let's grab, um, grab, grab an auto filter. Let's grab a reverb. Funnily enough, in fact, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm, I'm gonna grab the Super Haller, Valhalla, not Super Haller, Valhalla Super Massive. There we go. So let's grab that. We've got the filter here, so we're gonna high pass that a little. Mm, leave that for a second. Let's go set this up. So I'm just gonna put it on that preset so that you can see it, take the low end up a touch. Lovely, okay, so I'm gonna high pass this. I'm gonna have it so that it's just an atmosphere in the background. I'm gonna give it a little bit of drive. There you go, check that out. Nice, so it's just uh, like something in there, you know, it's just a bit of atmosphere. It's super cool.
really cool. Really, really, really cool. So let's grab a sampler, an instrument sampler. And now let's move on. Let's grab, let's grab a pad we can play. Really nice pads in there. There we go. We'll be able to play that. Let's do that. Let's grab. Um, let's grab a reverb. Let's grab a delay. That before the reverb. Let's also grab a compressor. Let's grab a compressor. And let's just turn off the side chain. And let's have a look. We turn the volume up here. And here, and then we can sort out our effects and everything. So let's bring that down a touch there. Once again, size up, stereo up, take the low cut, and just literally just there with it. Low diffusion network. And then let's come across, let's add quite a bit of decay. I went down a touch, so let's have a look. It's a nice pad, so we just need to sort the shape out of it. So best interpolation. And snap on, and then let's have a look at the amplifier envelope here. So let's give it some attack. Uh, two and a half seconds worth of attack, and then release. We want crazy release. Let's try that. Really nice. I think it's a little bit loud. I think we're something's a little bit painful in there. I don't want to distort really. Okay, so let's try that. So let's go from here. So let's now just record that. If I can remember what I played. Sweet. Okay, so we know we can take that start point up of that part there. And we can come into here. That's what I just played. So we're going to go eights. We're going to go quantize. Move that along. Hmm. Really, really cool. So we'll give that a save. And then we will just we'll start playing it from the beginning. We need to decide where we're going to go from here. So I think so far though it's sounding wicked. So let's grab these two noises because they worked nice going into that into that drop. In fact, I'm going to take it from. So I know that when I copy it across, I'm on that button. Like that. Brilliant. Um, okay. Cool. the way this sounds almost like a drum beat as well that's, that's cool 
All right, so let's have a look. So I'm really liking where that's where that's going so far. I think it's got massive potential. So we now need to think about a drop and adding maybe some some sort of pre-drop elements into this uh, into these parts here. So I don't know if we want like a filter uh, on a, like a bass coming in or something like that. So we're just going to have a play and see where we end up. This video is going to be a long one by the looks of things. Right, let's have a look at the basses. Sampler. That's a sick bass. Right, so let's have a look. So I only want that first note there. So let's um, let's have a look. I'm not worried about putting the glide on this time. Turn some drive on. So that we can now bring this into here, 19, halfway through the intro there. We can now go eighth notes here, and we can quantize that. And let's just grab this and this, and we'll extend them across. But let's just loop it over this section now. Bits there. <laughs> right, we are we are cooking on gas here. I like in this at all a lot. Um, all right, so let's grab a sampler. Okay, let's just copy this one across. So let's duplicate on, onto the next channel here, and then we can just drag this out straight onto it. Pretty. Freaking cool, I like that. It's gonna be badass. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's nice as well. So let's grab that. There we go. So let's have a look at this. Let's bring the, the, the filter down. Nice. that in. Bloody see when I meet your reds hanging out the side here. Oh it's a bit of me headphones. Okay. We can blow it up. So eights again. Right, so let's have a look at the noise. Oh, wrong one. So we're turning on the automation. just out of interest let's try pitching this about a little bit um, so let's go to the pitch oscillator page let's turn on the pitch envelope let's turn on the amount we'll go to say right, six and we'll see where that ends up there let's have a little solo of this so it's a bit too slow okay so actually I need to bring this down a touch uh, I'll just try. So we're just playing with a pitch envelope on that um, on that bass. Which I quite like. Um, I'm not sure about this filter now though, so let's delete the automation and let's just bring the filter up. Okay, so we're also going to come into this part here. Start from here. Okay, so I only want that first bit maybe. Nice. Okay, so let's have a listen. Uh, let's let's unsolo that. Yeah, I'm not sure about this now, but.
Okay, let's have a look at these uh, these Reese's and stuff. We've got a twisted one here. We mid range bases, analog bases. Twisted Reese's, that's what I want. That's sick. Okay, so let's go to this channel here. Let's duplicate the sampler. Let's put that onto another channel here. Let's grab this twisted Reese. Sorry, it's me clicking the keyboard. Let's make sure we're on the right channel here. Grab this twisted Reese here. Let's put it into the sampler. There we go. Um, right. So we've still got the pitch on there. So let's turn that up. And I also don't like the attack there. Okay, let's just move the start point on snap. That's good. Okay, so we need to put the glide on. The glide is fine there. Nice, okay, so let's give it a play. So we know the pitch is right. So we can see what I played there. Let's go quantize with the 18, uh, eighths on the quantize. And let's just quantize this. I also know that I'm gonna have to drag this across a touch so that these overlap. I need this start point to overlap on the second note. Um, so let's have a listen to that. Okay, so I like it, but I think it needs to I think it needs to do something like that. Once again, let's drag this out a little bit so we got overlaps. Okay, so we'll do it. So we'll save that there. Uh, and what we'll do now is we will just move on now, I think. I think we will try and grab these. Let's grab these, let's group them together. And let's call this MIDS-GRP, it's our MIDS group. And we can now process these MIDS together. Uh, but we can also now put things like a, a filter on all the all of the MIDS together. Excuse me. Um, there we go. So. Auto filter, we'll grab that onto the mids channel, the mids group channel, and we will just high pass that. See how that sounds. Nice. So we're gonna wanna process these a little bit more because we're gonna want more reverb on them and stuff, but I think that's that's cool sounding. So let's come to the group channel. Let's grab the, fil uh, the filter frequency, and let's just, so that we're coming down on the frequency here. I don't wanna go all the way to the bottom there. Love 
those little bits of like the beat repeat, you know? Okay, so let's duplicate these across. So this is our drop now. Let's grab a symbol. And let's also grab the hats. Uh, where are they? Are here. Grab that first lot of hats. We should now. Cool. So let's loop it over that section there. Let's also grab this effects hits. There. I don't want that. Not yet. Really nice. Okay, so we'll just go with this for the second, I think. Okay, so we need a main drum kit now. We need um, a sub, and we need to just sort of build these these mid range up and see if we can get like a riff going with these. But so far, I think we're we're sounding all right. So what I am going to do is I'm going to play it from the top. Give that a save. Just play through a couple of drum kits. I think we need to go a little bit harder than that. So where are we? Let's go close up the bass section now. We've got ambient. Um, sample series volume four. Let's go drum loops. Look. Up there. Just out of interest, let's grab this to here, and I, I'm going to want to cut the drum kit up because I don't I don't work like that with regards to my drums. But um, let's just have a quick listen to see how that sounds with those those drums in there with the basses. Sorry, uh, I just want to touch. Right, I think we've got our um, our drum loop. So what I want to do now is just come into here and I just want to see, make sure that everything is, is covered by these, which it is. So we'll go quantize and that will now just put a marker on each of the transients. And then we will now slice to new MIDI track, which is going to then put it into a drum, drum rack for us. We can get rid of this now and we can get rid of this now and we can get rid of this channel. And we can now just, not that, here we go. Just come to the here. Nice. Right, we've got the same problem that we had last time, but if we come to the part here, if I press a key, it continuously loops because of the loop length here. And, but I mean, you can get some cool effects with this. So if you leave the loop length up and then you go to the compress, loop compress. Very matrix sort of style. But notice that. Super cool, super, super cool. Okay, so we are Here, 
here it's just caught that hat there so let's just have a quick look not going to adjust the whole kit but we'll we'll adjust some of it just to make sure our hits are right Okay, so let's have a look. Let's see where we're at with this. Okay, so let's go. Let's try this. Okay, so it's going to want to go there. Sorry, I need to put my knife out. Go there. Try that. Okay, so just out of interest, let's just try muting those ones off. Okay, so let's grab these on here, isn't it? Uh, that one, this one, this one, this one, and let's move it across we can switch some of these around so these are muted off okay so we can switch that one for our hat cool so if i get rid of these ones now that's first two bars are nice feel on that so let's process these drums a little bit okay so let's grab audio effects let's go to drive and color and let's grab the saturator that's the saturator not the saturator um, Okay, so let's find the other snare. So let's have a look in here. We're we using the one snare here. We are. Oh, that's this, is it? Okay, so we're using the same snare throughout. So let's grab this last one. Okay, so that is slice, slice 16. And let's lose these after it. And then let's go to the, the drum rack again. And we'll go to slice 16, which is this one here that we've got highlighted. And we'll just grab a reverb. Uh, and we'll put this directly onto that slice 16. And once again, we'll do the normal. Let's say this is default, really. Um, so, okay, so I could actually do that so you can see, you guys can see how we how that works. But if I get my settings roughly right in here, then any any of the Ableton plugins that are built in, any of the stock Ableton plugins, you can then grab, or you can set up how you want them, and then right click and save as default preset. 
and then that every time you launch it so if i go go fire save as default preset a default preset for device will exist or overwrite it yes and then if i get rid of this reverb and i now relaunch the reverb it's exactly as i just left it so i now don't ever have to set that up again super handy um so let's listen to see how that sounds We should have a reverb snare at the very end here. Okay, so it needs a lot more reverb, but. Still a better setting than with the default. Okay, cool, a little bit less wet. So we get, still get the crack on the snare. Nice, just drop the volume here, let's get some more drive. Back to the mixer page for a second. Okay, and let's grab a sub. I think that'll be a good place to go next with this. So let's close up this one here. So bass, where are we? Got some sub basses here, so serum sub basses. Bit of a waver to it. Okay, that's nice. So let's grab a sampler, another one. Um, so we go instruments, sampler. Let's drag that to the space next to the drum loop here. And let's grab that sub. And we can now play that across the keys. It says F on it, so I'm pretty sure that's an F, so I'm actually gonna take that up to F. So now when I play F and I play C, everything's at the right pitch. So let's have a look at this. Um, sorry, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab uh, audio effects and we're gonna grab a compressor. And this is now gonna allow us to put the side chain to the drums. Um, which are the main kit, which is the last one we put in, which is this one. So we should now. quite a nice little subline so let's hit the record button eighth notes on there and we'll just quantize that should completely mess up okay so I think I'm gonna to want to put one here Okay, so let's lose this one actually. I don't know, we just put it in, but. Okay, so let's have a look at the drums as well here. So this is the second bar in, uh, the third bar, sorry. So the third bar, which is this one, let's just try switching this. That, so that's, that's just a hat. Go like that and lose this bigger until that kick drum there. Okay, so I think that 
Good. Double up with the, with the base drum there. Just plan just to try and get this sub and this bass drum aligned and we'll try and just make some sort of thing out of that. Okay, so let's turn this hats off here. That's better. So we could even grab like this little bit of reverse here. Cool, and then we can make that into a reverse. Okay, let's. That, I'm gonna put it, it's like quite quick. Nice, potential. We could drop the volume on that a touch, and that way then it won't now interfere so much with the tune. Twisted Reese. So let's have a look at this. So we could lose maybe every other one of these. Put that across. So let's have a little look here. So what have we got? So if I grab that section there and just pop that on the end here. Really cool. Really, really nice. And we could maybe incorporate some more of this um, 
this reverb drum kit, you know, this this intro kit, we can maybe incorporate a little bit more of this into the tune here. Um, luck fills and just trying to make it a bit like just a bit more active, you know. There's this section where we stop the drums and we could use that for that maybe. So let's try. There. There, sorry. how that just just makes it just a little bit more interesting you know right so this pad I really feel that it needs to have a little bit of attack on it um, or actually what we could do rather than do that let's duplicate this channel not not do it that way it'd probably be a good call so let's just show you so if I go insert a MIDI clip into here and I now select this and this, and then we just copy that onto the blank channel. It activates the channel, so we're ready to play on the keyboard. And we can now just move this onto here, and we haven't got to go back and like delete all those other parts. And we've now got another version of it here. So we can now add some attack onto that. Nice. And just out of interest, because it's a new noise as it was now, let's just knock it up an octave. Okay, I wasn't as keen, so let's just leave it where it is. Ah. This is the melody line. So let's have a little look here because we might be able to incorporate this in and make this a little bit more interesting in places with this. So once again, let's try this revert, not a reverse, just like bring in the, the attack in so that it doesn't happen until on the button of that bar. So I think we could maybe give it a little bit more of that. Kind of obscure, but kind of still in there, you know? Let's have a look at this one. Let's grab this in and let's just put this somewhere else random. Okay. So let's have that so that it falls on the snare. Go. Cool. And let's try it up an octave. My apologies, I just knocked. It's me getting excited, just knocked the bloody microphone over. Uh, right. Where are we? Still recording, everything's fine. I just need to come. Cool. I want to knock it up an octave, is what I wanted to do. All right, let's try that. So down an octave.
if at all really so i think we can lose that one there and we'll just we'll just start to introduce other bits and pieces as we want it um but yeah i think we're so far we're sounding all right what's this one saying okay so this might work quite nicely for a section so we can grab this put it grab this and put it here maybe drag in that end part there like that Again, reverse the, not reverse it, but give it that feel. Right, and then it's. Nice, and we've got transitions happening. So let's have a little bit of reverb to these mids. So we get them sound a little bit sweeter. And if you can hear the seagulls in the bloody background again, it is so hot at the moment. I can't have the window closed fully. Um, honestly, I feel like a bird keeper or something. Anyway, all right, let's come back to it. Let's just solo these mids for a second. I want to bring down some of that top end. So we'll, we'll specify that we don't want any pitch bend before or any pitch bend after, and we'll just do that. Just come to. Let's do like. Well, let's leave it at five for the second and let's see how that's sounding. So that was that was super cool. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's see where we're at. So let's run it from the top and let's run it into that section and let's see where we've ended up. Save that. Nice. 
So what we need to do here, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong bloody screen. What we need to do here is we need to grab this melody thing because I think that could be really nice. That was this channel here, if I'm right. Yes. So I think what we could do is we could just copy this across to here for a second, right? And then we can take this up. And I think that that might... Let's start from there. And then for the next section, so we can leave that there for a second. Like we can always go back over this stuff, but we can leave that there for a second. We can come to here and then we can start to maybe introduce this melody into the tune. Grab it from here. Okay, and let's just try this last bit here. Let's reverse that and see what happens. Boy, that's really cool. Um, okay, so let's move this to the second part. Let's copy that to there, right. And now let's grab these and let's just knock it down that octave, minus 12. So we've knocked both of these parts now down to the original octave, which was at the very beginning of the tune. Sub drops lovely in there as well. Okay, so let's have a look. We can start to look at these other pads and stuff now. Okay, so let's have a let's have a little look. So I don't want this at the beginning of this section. I think this is going to want to be just for like a little part in here. So we might even just try like that kind of stuff. We can just randomly bring bits in and pieces. So this is now where I would now start to introduce this intro again because then we can then break down into a into like a paddy sort of style part. So let's have a look. Um, and let's also, let's grab a ride. Let's grab some rides in here. That might be quite interesting. Uh, a ride or a shaker. So let's come back to these sample packs. Let's have a look. Go here. So let's lose that. Let's go drums, perk loops. Oi. These are lovely. Be on Switch Sample Series 4, by the way. Oh, these are really nice. Okay. All right, so let's just try that number one there. Um, let's come down to the bottom here. Where is the, where's our drum loop? Let's grab the drum loop and let's add in an audio channel. And then we'll grab this, pop this on here. We need to just double check on the 
timing, 140 BPM, it's all sorted. Uh, I just want to check on the volume on it, but let's try doing that. Let's come to this page and let's drop the volume. that's got massive potential so let's go to the sub quickly and let's just copy that um there we go copy that side chain onto those hats there uh, here fashion i think So we can do things that just cut the end out of this. So we could even cut out a little bit closer than that. So let's have a look here now. So we can now grab, let's grab this and let's just come to five. So this is our section just before the drop happens. Um, do we want to grab that? So yeah, let's just copy that. Bring that across to here. Grab the right channel. Leave it on the right channel. Big here. Okay, let's run it then into there. Sorry, let's first of all, let's grab some drums. And stuff. So let's grab the percussion. What have I got here? So I basically just want to grab all of this again. So we'll keep that in full. Keep that. So if I grab from here. Go, and we can just overwrite this section now. Here So I think I think we've done all right there. I think that we could possibly call that a day. I um I think that that's something that would you can now just basically take it to the second drop. I would I mean with the breakdown I would just grab this first part here like the very very beginning of the intro. I would drag this across. Uh, I would copy that to here. Yep. And then you've got your breakdown. Possibly I would do something like that. Uh, sorry, not that one, this one, the melody line. I would possibly have the melody line fading out so we could then, but it's gonna go more minimal for that second part there.
Nice. So we could then just lose these there and possibly there. Let's check that. There you go. And then you got your second drop. Uh, we'll, we'll, let's just do a second drop quickly. So let's go here. It's just going to be a real minimal second drop. All right, so let's loop it over there. Let's grab that whole section. I hope we actually got it. Previous. All right. in the right place with the bars here. No. Control Z. 99. Are they? Maybe. No. Alright, let's grab. What is this section here? Alright, that's the problem. Uh, I want to be there. That's what stuffed me up a minute ago. Okay, so we want to go completely minimal with this now. So lose the melody completely. There we go. We could always keep a little part in there for that. Um, Yep, so we'll laugh that off. We don't want that either. See, I don't mind the occasional sort of obscure bit like this. That's cool. But, um, I don't want like craziness. Okay, so what we also want to do here is I need to add like a ride or some sort of some sort of shaker in maybe or something like that. It's there, so let's loop it over there. We got another noise to add in here, so let's come down to the bottom here. Nice, so let's volume on that. And let's come back to here and now let's have a look. So we could now put this maybe in here. reversing it for that section. Cool, so we could then adjust these bases a little bit. Okay, so let's try. 
Try that there. Cool, okay, so that's got potential. So let's try joining them up. Okay, so let's also just try just joining them for a second. Okay, so we're gonna have to adjust that sub. So uh, let's come back to the sorry. Okay, so offbeat. Um, halfway through the butt on the snare, basically, and before. Okay, so sorry, let's come back to the sub here. So that is right there. So, and then. Oh, that sorry, I'll put that back. That wants to be there. This wants to go to here. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so let's just have that. So that is eight. Okay. So we're just switching it up a little bit here. So this is cool. So let's now bring the end of this in. Bar there, that's fine. And we could do the same for this sub. Get rid of that one. Grab this. So let's duplicate that. Let's duplicate that. So we could add like some sort of crazy sort of pitch thing in there. So let's grab, um, let's have a little look. Let's duplicate this channel. So let's add a MIDI channel, MIDI tracking. And let's come back to the previous one. Let's click on that and let's grab this. I've got no effects on these or anything. Um, okay, so we've now just got this. So let's move this along. There we go, that's the second drop. Cool, okay, so let's have a play with that. Okay, so it's kind of it's kind of getting there. So let's go eight. Yep, that's good. One size. Let's also deselect the very last one and then just drag these out. So they're all just slightly overlapping. Cool. So that last hit. Let's lose that one there that back to there and this last hit wants to be like another hit so what have we got here So not that base, but that's the right place. Um, so let's have a look at this. Nice. <laughs>
<laughs> That's super cool. Okay, so what I want to do here. Right, so let's grab. Go. From. But if I grab all of this for a second, duplicate that over. So we don't have to have that twisted wrist there at that time. Nice. So we just need to now basically copy these notes. Let's do that. Copy, and we'll go to the sub here. I need to just check on this sub. Pitch bend, right? I need to turn the glide up on, turn the glide on on the on the sub. So that way now we'll follow these notes exactly. Um, and I need to work out where these start. So this is starting from halfway through, plus an eight. Oh, wrong one. What I do. So halfway through plus an eighth. Yeah. So if I just Put that there, control V. And here, sweet. And now we can now put these on the right pitches. So uh, this is gonna be, there we go. Okay, and then let's just, uh, that's a duplicate there. So let's, let's grab from here, down to here. We could have the symbol again. There we go. Okay, so we'll duplicate that. We are getting really long on this video. It's coming up for two hours. Um, so we'll duplicate that. So we've got that to basically run in twice over. That brings us to three minutes 40. Then we can then come back to like this section here before. So let's do that. Let's grab that. Let's grab this. Back to here. So we're now literally just arranging. So we're at 410 now. So we can now um, come back to the previous sort of sections here. What's this section? What's this one? Okay, so I still think that we want this melody sort of style noise in there. Quicker. Yeah. So we're now looking at just under 440, so we can start to break it down now.
Okay, so let's have a look. So I want to basically, um, let's just listen to the whole thing. Um, let's turn the loop off. Let's give it a save. And let's listen. Turn my headphones up. That's all working, lovely. Not sure about it always, but it doesn't matter. So for that now, I would literally just, I would 
uh, where's the melody? I would grab the melody. So I would now just duplicate the melody. Uh, I mean, we could probably add some more drums in and stuff if we wanted to for that last couple of minutes, or last couple of seconds, sorry, but um, for the sake of this, I'm not massively worried. Let's have a look here, let's see if we can, in fact, let's not grab that. Let's just grab the intro again, that'd be the best bet. So let's grab uh, those, let's do this, come back to here. There we go. What have we got there? 30 seconds worth, which is totally fine. Duplicate these. Panel. Go. Now just drop that there. Crash. There we've got five minute tune. Give that a save. There we go. End on that delay. little bit of a cop out outro but it doesn't matter you've got the idea you know the whole tune is basically there so there we go i hope that has been insightful and helpful as always <laughs> um i hope you've enjoyed that i know that it was an extra long video and i don't know whether that's a good thing or not a good thing you have to let me know in the comments if you got bored i apologize you know it was um i just thought i would just work on a tune um, we've only used sounds from my sample series uh, whether that be one two three or four um, so yeah definitely go check them out uh, they're on my band camp there's also uh, members get a 20% discount on my on my website so definitely go check out the membership section and um, yeah definitely I hope that's been insightful and helpful I hope you've, you've learned a bit from there um, if you've got the if you've got the pads and stuff if you've got the packs the sample packs you can follow along so yeah anyway all good. Big up. Much love. And I will catch you in the next one.